Hello, my beautiful little Leo cubs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Crosswatchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, the link is below. I also have a Virgo and Cancer-only channel, okay? Um, readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation okay um what else did i want to tell you uh please like share comment subscribe i don't take personal readings any phone numbers you see in the comment section below is not me if anyone reaches out to you on social media for a personal reading it's not me i can recommend barbara from quartz rose tarot um the link to book with her is in the description box below if you need a personal reading so guys, I'm sorry if I'm a little out of it. I just, my allergies are killing me. So my sinuses have me feeling all types of crazy today. Okay. All right, my little Leo babies. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Leo in love. Tell me about Leo in love please spirit tell me about leo in love Ooh, okay denial under the deck okay we've got thinking of you single and memories and then we've got denial so leo there is someone here that's single now could be you could be someone else. I don't know. But someone's single now. And they're going back. And, uh, I, I, you know, this could, again, it could be you. could be them. I don't know. But someone here is thinking back. I don't know if this is an ex or maybe a friend or someone that you met once or twice. I don't know. But this person is single now. And they're saying, man, I wonder if I should hit Leo up. But with denial, I don't know. This person's worried that you might say no, Leo. So I'm just going to read this like it's someone thinking of you. But Leo, it could very well be that you're single now and you're thinking about somebody. So you could be, you know, again, this could be an ex or I'm getting for some of you. It's just someone that maybe like you met a friend of a friend or you know what I'm saying? Like it's like going back and thinking like, man, you know, that person was kind of cool, you know. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We've got the five of swords and we've got the six of wands. Yeah, this person walked away from a situation. This person, and it wasn't just like a regular walking away. This is someone that said, F you, I'm out, bye, you know. And with that six of wands energy, this is someone that is walking away with their head held high and saying, you know what, I deserve better. So this is somebody that definitely um, is done with a situation. We've got the chariot and we have the page of cups. I, I feel like now that this person has walked away from this situation, they want to reach out to somebody. Um, we have the chariot and the page of cups here. So strong Cancerian energy. The hierophant and the queen of pentacles, strong Taurus energy. So we could be dealing with either a Cancer or a Taurus, but there's an energy of like this person is walking away from a situation kind of already with their eyes set on where they want to go. There's someone here that could make very good money with that Queen of Pentacles energy. This person's very loyal, committed, dedicated. There could be an age difference. King of Cups and the Eight of Wands. There's almost an, an energy of I can't contain my excitement. So the Eight of Wands is a lot of uh, communication. It could also be a representation of passion. Uh, the King of Cups is an energy of somebody that is trying to control their emotions. I feel like whoever this is that has walked away from a situation and is excited to hit up another person, uh, they're very excited and, and also like emotionally and sexually like excited about it. Someone here with the Fool card um, they're just kind of like, they know it's a risk. I don't know if it's like butterflies or what this person's feeling, but there's a sense of like, I want to go try this, you know, now, right? Tell me about the five of swords and the three of wands. I'm telling you, this is somebody that's telling a, a person, go screw yourself with the three of wands. They already like kind of have an idea of where they're going when they do that though. Six of wands and the page of wands. So it's kind of like, I think it's an upgrade. 
I have to be honest, Leo, you may be telling someone to go screw themselves because you already have your eye on someone else that would be an upgrade. I, I got to keep it real with you. Tell me about the chariot or Leo. I mean, somebody could be telling their person to go screw themselves because they see you as the upgrade. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. With the five of cups and the chariot here with the lover's card, I feel like there is a small pang of guilt. Okay. There's a small pang of guilt. And I'm going to tell you why, because with the knight of wands here and the lover's card, I told you, I don't think this is an ex Leo. Let me tell you what I think this is. There was a person here that was in a relationship and they met a third party when they were in this relationship and they had an attraction towards this third party. So Leo, I don't know if you felt this or I don't know if your person felt this. Okay. I have no idea, but someone was in a relationship and they, they met this person amazing queen of pentacles energy here. Okay. They met this person and they said, you know what? I, you know, I'm attracted to that. That's, I want to go touch it. I want to go touch that, you know? And I feel like this person didn't act on it, but they felt guilty. They felt guilty for feeling attracted. Do you see what I'm saying? Like there was a, you know, a sense of guilt. Um, I'm, you know, I feel bad for having these thoughts, right? So when this fight took place and this person walked away from their relationship, it's kind of like they never really forgot this person. And and Leo, so again, I don't I don't know. I don't know if you're the person that this person is moving towards or if you are the person that's going somewhere. I don't know, you know. What I do know is that it's like I never forgot you. It's like an energy of, you know, and I feel guilty for feeling that way but I've never forgotten you. And now that I'm out of my relationship, I know exactly where I'm going, you know? Tell me about the Hierophant, please. And the Two of Cups. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. This person could have either air, or, uh, excuse me, this person could have either earth or water in their chart. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please. The Eight of Pentacles. This is someone that could have, a, you know, a business established. This is someone that could make money. The Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. I, I feel like this is kind of with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. It's, all right, whoever's doing this could get accused of cheating. Because it's like this person leaves their relationship and goes straight for someone else. Do you understand? They go straight for someone else. And it's almost like, I feel like someone here is going to say, have you been cheating with this person the whole time? Um, it kind of, it kind of looks like cheating. Do you see what I'm saying? It kind of looks like cheating, but it's not. I just, I don't know who needs to hear that it's not because when these two people met, whoever was in the relationship did not act on the way they felt and they even felt guilty for feeling that way, okay? They even, yeah, see two of pentacles and the ace of wands. Were you sleeping with this person the entire time? Do you understand? It's going to come off. It's going to, someone's going to move towards another person so quickly. It's going to come off as cheating. And this person's excited. Whoever's moving towards this third party is excited. I mean, I'm seeing high levels of commitment there. Leo, honestly, I have to be honest, someone's moving towards a, a commitment. Two of Cups is a relationship. Um, you know, someone's moving towards a, a commitment. You may actually end up with this person. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo in love. Leo in love, please. Leo in love. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Abusive, take action, and gossip. So let me tell you what's going to happen. The person that was left behind, the person that was left behind is going to contact the new person and say, well, you don't know what you're getting yourself into because this person is a, a liar, they're abusive, they yell, they scream, gossip. Like someone's taking action to tell another person gossip about, uh, sometimes I feel like in readings, it gets a little crazy and that's where I give the scenario, okay? Let's say, Leo, I'm sitting here and someone hits me up and says, hey, listen, you know, it's uh, so-and-so, it's Joe or uh, Lacey or somebody, right? Okay, I don't know if you remember me, we met. Uh, so, And I say, hey, what's up? And they say, hey, do you want to go out and get a drink or something like that? And I say, sure, let's go. 
a relationship ensues from that, okay? That person's ex is going to contact me now and say, hey, Gina, let me let you know that they just left me. They walked out on me. They're abusive. They're like this. They're like that. The ex is contacting someone, flipping out, saying, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. He or she is a loser. They're a hoe. They're a hoochie. They're whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, so expect communication. Leo, if you have someone coming towards you that wants to date you, this person is in love with you. They find you attractive. They want to marry you. They want to have your baby. Babies. They want to do all that stuff, but they come with baggage. Someone here has got a crazy ex that they're bringing with them. Tell me about Leo, please. We have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. And we've got the Ten of Wands. Someone's having trouble letting go. Somebody here, the person on this side is having trouble letting go. They are having trouble releasing. The Hanged Man and the Emperor. Yes, yeah, someone here is trying to stop this Emperor energy from moving forward. They can't handle the fact that this Emperor energy has actually walked out. They can't handle the fact that this Emperor energy has actually left the building. The Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone that's losing their mind. This is someone that's literally losing their mind. They can't move on. This is an ex that cannot move on. I'm telling you right now. We have an ex here that cannot move on. So Leo, I have to say it, you could also be this ex. I don't know. You could be the ex. You could either be the new person that's getting the phone call. You could be the person that's leaving one relationship to jump into another. Or you could be this crazy ex. Eight of swords in the reverse with the world card. Yeah, this is over. This cycle has been completed. This is over. Um, Queen of pentacles and the ten of wands here. Yeah, this could be... Um, and the lover's card and the three of swords this this person this person may find out about the queen of pentacles this is someone that may find out that there's someone else in the picture again and they can't ha uh, not again this is someone that may find out that there's another person in the picture and they can't handle it this is someone that with the three of swords and the lover's card they're going to try to get some, their person to cheat okay uh they're not coming up as a person. I guess you want to, we can call this person the Knight of Wands. I don't know. Or the King of Cups. Let's call this person the King of Cups. Okay, this person that jumped out of one relationship to go into another. This, this, uh, this person is finding out that the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles are in a relationship. They're going to want to come in and come in between that relationship. They want to try to cause a third party situation. Hanged Man. And the Five of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that's throwing a tantrum. Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands. This is someone losing their shit. <clears throat> the Emperor. That's who this person is coming in as. The Emperor. Okay. Three of Wands and the Emperor. They want this Emperor to work things out with them. Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords. This is someone that's going to go crazy. And they're going to lie on this person. So let me just explain to you. Leo, if you are the new person. And you have someone coming towards you. And this person just got over a breakup. There's an ex that's going to lie on their name. Okay, this ex is going to come towards you and they're going to say that they're abusive. They hit me. They hurt me. They cheated on me. They're going to lie on this emperor's name to get you to stay away so that they can reconcile. Okay. Yeah, the ace of swords and the seven of pentacles. And the magician. This is someone that's going to twist the truth. This is someone that's taking action to cut you out of the picture with manipulation. Okay. With the chariot and the eight of wands, they're going to take action to contact you. Okay. I'm telling you right now. Um, the ace of wands, the ace of pentacles, and the queen of swords. There is a new relationship that's taking place here. But Leo, you know, if you are the new person, you may have to show your claws here. You may have to defend this, your person and this relationship, okay? If you do with the empress and the ten of pentacles here and the emperor i feel like you and this person will be together for life i feel like this is your true counterpart here okay i feel like this is a strong soul tie connection with the hierophant here this is the person that you're going to marry but it all depends on how you react to this ex that's that's that is 
showing up here, okay? So if you have what it takes to tell this ex, you know, well, thank you for calling. I appreciate it. You go ahead and have, you know, a, a, the most wonderful day ever. And uh, thank you for calling and take care. Bye-bye now. And then, you know, hang up the phone and go cuddle up with your person and have a nice night. Then, you know, this is the person that you're going to marry. If you believe this ex, then, you know, the ex wins and it is what it is. But you have someone here that really does love you and wants a life with you. So it's totally up to you as to how you want to react to the baggage that comes with this person. Okay. Um, all right. So let's do Leo and all 12 signs. Okay, let's see. Leo and all 12 signs in love, please, Spirit. Tell me about Leo and all 12 signs in love. Leo and all 12 signs in love. Leo and, oh, got the Empress that just popped out. Tell me about Leo and all 12 signs in love. Leo and all 12 signs in love. Aries to Pisces. Leo and all 12 signs. Okay. If we're dealing with an Aries, we got the world card, the five of wands and the king of wands. Leo, if you're dealing with an Aries, you and this person have a temper. And when it comes together, it's bad. I feel like with the world card, it's over. There's going to be a fight and it's done. If we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Leo, you could either be reconciling with a Taurus or you could be meeting someone new that is a Taurus. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication here. Um, but someone here either wants to reconcile or, you know, it's either something new or someone wants to reconcile. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Hierophant, the Page of Wands, and the Judgment card. Uh, someone here is either going to ask a person to marry them or someone here wants to have the conversation of what are we, is this leading to marriage? So a decision is going to have to be made. If we're dealing with another uh, a Cancer, I was going to say another Cancer. If we're dealing with a Cancer, Page of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. <sighs> Leo, if you're dealing with a cancer, an honest message is coming through of, you know, I want you. I don't want you to go. I don't want you to leave. It's kind of like a message of please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. I don't want you to go. Okay. If you're dealing with another Leo, we've got the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Someone here is going to revenge not revenge cheat because I feel like there's going to be a breakup and then this person is going to peacock the fact that they're sleeping with other people. So this is someone that's going to sleep around and throw it in your face. If we're dealing with a Virgo, Page of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Um, Leo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, there could be an age difference between you and this person, but someone here is a little money hungry. Okay, this person's going to want you to buy them things and spoil them and all that other stuff. This is someone that's emotionally manipulative and they know how to play on your feelings. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the Ten of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Four of Cups. One person wants a family and happily ever after and the other person does not. It doesn't mean they don't want a relationship. They just don't want the whole family lifestyle, okay? If we're dealing with a Scorpio, we've got Temperance, the Chariot, and the two of swords. I feel like this person is too on and off. I feel like one minute they're chasing you, they're zoned, they got that Scorpio stare on you, they're all over you, and the next minute everything is quiet, okay? Um, and you don't like that. You don't like that they're, you know, you want to constantly know that your person cares about you. If we're dealing with a Sag, the two of pentacles, the knight of wands, and the two of cups. Leo, um... I feel like this is someone who doesn't know what they want. They're telling you that they love you. The Sagittarius is telling you that they love you. But I think that they're still keeping their options open. I'm sorry. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Queen of Wands. Way too slow for you. Leo, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this person moves at a snail's pace. They're too, you're, you're just going to end up like flipping out on this person. You know, they're moving way too slow. They're, they're a little too boring for you. 
if we're dealing with an Aquarius, the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Fool, this person's a liar. They got secrets. When you when this when you are out of sight, you are out of mind with this Aquarius, Leo. Okay. This person walks around like they belong to nobody. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Four of Wands, the Strength card, and the Sun. Um, this person knows that you are the person that they are going to marry. They feel that twin flame, that soul tie connection, but they're holding back. I don't know why they're holding back, but you know, they feel like they, they know, but they don't want to say it. Okay. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Take care, my loves.